Hmm. I don't like the. I don't like this already. Hold on a second. That's not a kwama. That's a bear. Now, to that bear's credit, that is a cave bear in a cave that I've built for my lovely bug friends. Because this, my friends, is the hive. I'm very shocked at this stage. If you weren't aware of that. I mean, the, the bug people alone very clearly give it away. And speaking of bug people, my god, what a bug person we have in the form of Bugsy, who yesterday received all the mutations we could stuff into her, poor choice of words, and also this thing. Herald of the Black Hive that allows her to summon insects, strengthen insects, and spit acid. Eventually, we can summon some really big insects. Hopefully, we'll, we'll crack that out today. But the important thing that I think we should be cracking out today is maybe a little bit of research. We fought people with recon armor, we fought mechanoids, and we have bows and arrows. They're basically just bows and arrows. And we've sacrificed too many sweet, precious, innocent insects to make that happen. Bugsy's our best chance, and you know what? I think Bugsy deserves a spotlight, goddammit. Bugsy, come equip this mega spider helmet. All of those old mega spiders we befriended, oh my god. All of those mega spiders we befriended before. What's a good use? We're not gonna let their sacrifice go in vain. Very interested to see what the Discord art channel would do with her now. I think we're gonna crank up the research priority for absolutely everybody. Let's just put it well above any of the other backup jobs like hunting and mining and all that boring stuff. <laughs> Bed rest, all that boring, unessential stuff. Really tells a story, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Great start. I'm trying to train Lynx up, if you remember, to be a better animal handler, because Lynx can't do anything, because they have the special insectoid herder role, which disables all their job types. Fortunately, they're also shit in animals. Our long-term goal remains the same. Capture as many people as possible, get as much genetic diversity into the hive as possible, and steal their genes to build the perfect insectoid cast. Warriors, workers, farmers, whatever that happens to be. If we could get some non-lethal weapons, that would be good. There were those, what were those blunt weapons I was looking at yesterday? Uh, Mantonian Crusher, that's right. We could throw together a few of those, because I imagine it'd be easier to take prisoners if we break their legs rather than using gigantic scythes on them. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna set as a very uh very humble goal for today. Our best weapon currently that we can craft is a whip. So if we could just get something better than that, I'll be happy. Be happy. Anything to help us fight these mechanoids. Harps cord is fine. Little decoration for Bugsy's throne room. Carpet making, that's a funny looking carpet. Huge. Three simultaneous researchers, and they're absolutely blitzing through it. Noble apparel. That's fine. I suppose caster gear might eventually be be pretty good for Bugsy. But before I forget again, let's use these to learn some artistic skill. All the way up to level 20. Yeah, that'll probably do it. That'll make the base a little nicer. Can we make the... Oh, we can make the grand sculptures out of bone. Oh, I mean, that seems nice for insects, huh? Uh, let's do it until we've always got one in storage. That way, if you've really got nothing else to do, you can always be... Always be churning out some more art for us. Might make us a little money, too. After Noble Apparel. Beeswax lighting. Seems very appropriate. We have good relations with the Kwama. I don't think they'd mind us borrowing one or two of their warriors to help defend the whole map. I mean, it's not as if we, we haven't been defending them nonstop as well. Unlike all of our precious, lovely, bonded animals, it's not as if we can just replace them instantly like the Kwama. Can anybody explain to me why... Why, why that's a thing? Sticky, I'm sticky and I dislike it. I presume, I hope... It's not related to any of the other moodlets that are on the screen right now. Why is that? Is that because... Is that because the... Well, is that because of the... Nest walls? No, surely not. Hang on. Setoid slain. Yeah, that's very sad. Uh, chemical starvation. Maybe without a table to disturb sleep. Why is it only... Why is it only Bugsy? Worn insectoid helmet. Oh, is that why? I think some gel stuff is inside my ear. Was it because you were in the mega... Oh, maybe that is it. Protecting is highly valuable, but wearing insects feels bad. Maybe, maybe that's it. Okay, you know what? I'll let you off. Cold-blooded danger. What the hell is that? Hold on a second. I presume... Ooh, cast a gear immediately. Fine. Yeah, absolutely. Carry on. Um, Lynx is upset because you're you're right. You're cold-blooded. You're a lizard, and it's very cold outside. Just keep an eye out for that hypothermia notification. I presume it works like every other character. My God. <laughs> Look at the cuts and scratches. Ooh, and we can gain some expertise with Lilith. Very nice. That's, that's artistic then, right? Um, fine. You know what? Okay. Do we want you to make art quicker? Because art does take a bloody while. Or do we want you to make better quality art? I worry that if we go for art quality, she's just going to churn out legendary after legendary after legendary gear. And that's going to make these raids harder than they already are simultaneously. I can't stop myself. Let's have a hymn so we can build more of those lovely little insectoid nests. I mean, the, the, the cooldown time on tame, tame insectoid is pretty low, but it might reset this one as well. well unless it's shit. 
<laughs> Thank you for that. That's great. Nearby Karma Nest has expanded again. Turns out, in the mod options, uh, you can increase the amount of times they're allowed to expand. I just worry that if I, if I increase it any higher, the game might catch fire. Wait, hold on. Horrifying thoughts ahead. This quest isn't really relevant, but it did kickstart something in my brain. Well, we can, if we went for this quest and we accepted the top option, get a gene pack for Happy. We have a, a hive mind, you might remember. There, there it is. What if we captured a load of people, we stole their legs, we gave them a mega screen televisions, drugs, Around the clock, non-stop IV drips of Yayo. Oh, mechanoids. Okay, hold that thought a second. And then we bioengineered them to be the most happy, joyful people possible. And everyone else in the colony leached off of their happiness. Wow. Where are you landing, though? Oh, okay. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty convenient. Hello there. Centipedes. Centipedes? I think, uh, I don't mind me. Let's just, uh, let's borrow a friend if that's all right. All the things we could do with this hive. My God. I mean, it's so far away. We could, we could take it now, of course. We could start building up. We could also get ourselves a, a bee there as well. I think that might be another one of the Necropini, like Zerlop. Look, I think we're fine. But that is a real long-term play. That's going to have to be in the deepest, darkest depths of the hive. Right now, we just happen to be researching royal apparel. And that got me thinking. Bugsy is the insect queen. She's not going to be out there on the front line wearing the biggest, heaviest armor, doing the biggest, strongest fighting. She's going to be at the middle of the hive, well defended by every other hive member, right? So let's go ahead and let's take this off. This is ridiculous. Just wanted to try and try and make her more of a hideous insectoid creature. Just to, just to quell some people. Instead, you know what? I'm happy to embrace it. Let's go all in on Royal Queen Bugsy. Because she is still a human with insectoid stuff going for her right now. And again, we'll, we'll move over to be more insect as time goes on. But if she thinks she's a queen, if she is the leader of a whole hive that she's founded with her own little... ...Venus, then I think it's only reasonable that she would take on that... ...that more human representation of royalty, especially here in RimWorld. She's gonna have that coronet, that crown, that prestige robe, or whatever we go for. Not to mention that also ties in really, really well with the whole psychasting thing. Given that royalty and psychasting goes hand in hand, we've got better bee houses coming up, very nice. But her sidecasts are going to get very, very, very good. All right, fine. I'm going to give her a fancy crown. I don't think we have anything to make the crown of right now. Uh, I mean, shiny wax would be incredible, right? Do we have anything at all? Just make the crown out of beeswax. That seems the most appropriate out of all of these. The question is then, who's our best fighter? Who should get all this combat gear? I mean, Lynx is pretty good. Also, is the insectoid herder. Um, Zolob's not bad. Oh, we could turn you into a melee specialist, I suppose. You know what? Fine, let's do it. Here. Oh, you can't wear it. Oh, could have really expected that one. Luxembourg. Luxembourg, you're going to be our, our our royal fighter. You're also our best medical character, so please don't die. Oh, yeah. And I mean, that also makes sense, because Luxembourg is the one crafting all the weapons as well. Makes sense that you'd be the weapons expert. You know what? That reminds me. Someone said... Oh, you're right. Someone said that Luxembourg's... Oh, maybe that explains it. They said that her stomach cancer had disappeared. But to be fair, so was her stomach. <laughs> the comment also said she had asthma as well. But that's clearly disappeared too. I don't understand how that's happened. She's kept all of her other injuries though. It's just the the actual, the, the, the diseases have gone. It made me wonder if it was something to do with their germline. But I didn't add anything like that. Weird. Well, we've got to get her a new stomach either way. Bugsy, oh, careful, careful, careful. Uh, is it worth holding out until we get another side level for Bugsy before we... Uh, Try and fight these mechanoids. We get a black spellipede. And then we could hit it with the strengthened insects as well. That'd be quite a nice combo. Okay, you know what? Bugsy, I'm going to put you back on all day meditation. There's a comment on last episode, and I actually really like the idea. Somebody said that you can stack up the focus types to increase the amount of XP she gains while she's meditating. That means if we do something like group meditation combined with the art, everybody can meditate together and it would be cumulative. But the comment said that we could just go with wealth and then fill Bugsy's throne room with a load of well, wealth, right? We could put piles of gold, piles of silver. We could build the throne out of something a bit more, a bit more impressive than skulls. Well, I mean, it'd be more impressive when it's part of the Empire's skulls. Not like the, the sculptures we could build out of rare materials instead. That could be a very, very good idea. Oh, I think I might upgrade that one next then. I mean, sure, the, the Spellopy might help out a little bit against the immediate centipedes. But in the long term, if these do compound, we could throw in all of them together and get her up to the highest level really fast. Not to mention that we could upgrade her side casting stats. Come on, Luxembourg, fight through. This is for sweet, precious Bugsy. Bugsy, get down here. Your crown is almost ready. Did you put that there? 
a normal quality beeswax crown. Oh my god, you look ridiculous. <laughs> what else do we have suitable for royalty? Obviously, the Altec stuff would be amazing for her when we eventually get some Altec stuff. What about like a nice formal... Nice formal shirt. Prestige robe. That's a good one. Now, insect queens, unlike humans, I, I'm fairly certain aren't renowned for hoarding inordinate uh, amounts of wealth away from the rest of their their people in probably offshore accounts, let's be honest. But if it'll help with the side casting, then I'm sure the rest of the hive will, will more than more than be happy for it. This is to get more insects, right? So let's pile up all the gold. I don't think we actually have any gold. Well, Bugsy's working on another level. If you don't mind, I'm just gonna buy I'm just gonna borrow a friend. Just gonna borrow another one. There has to be a way to summon more mega spiders, right? Because if we're using that as our main armor source, there has to be a way to get more of them. I mean, sure, we could just eventually deep drill everywhere and try and summon them with that, but at uh, that stage, we're gonna be in the industrial area and there'll probably be better stuff anyway, right? Any quests for infestations? I presume not. Uh, nothing at all. Wow. I mean, the piano wasn't the highest research I had on my list. <gasps> but that, though. Whoa, your faction's tech level is Neolithic? What are you talking about? How dare you? Your colony has harnessed the power that outsiders call electricity. It has the potential to transform every aspect of your people's way of life while they'll be making mediocre YouTube Let's Plays before they know it. Hang on a second. How many... There was barely any medieval research. My god, there was barely any medieval research. Bees? Castigear was the final one. No way. Statues, monuments... Oh, it's like a lot of the props, of course, we didn't need to research. We start with those unlocked. Stone cutting, royal power, harps, good. Piano counts as industrial era. Oh. So we've actually been here for a little while. Oh, well, that's crazy. Oh, well, there we go. Electricity invented. Oh, yeah, that was a fun medieval era. <laughs> <laughs> Lasted all of about 30 seconds. I mean, it makes a lot of sense that when you're one of the few medieval nations on a planet filled with mad industrial and space attack nations and death bots very literally at the front door. I mean, you're not going to be medieval for long. Mechanoids are awake. Hello. Oh, Ibex do one. What were you thinking? I haven't got any rush to deal with them because it's an EMI dynamo. It just means we can't get to this particular area of the map that I'm not really bothered by. If we have any raiders turn up whatsoever... Unless they spawn in right here and then immediately jump around the hedge, they're probably going to fight the mechanoids anyway. I think we can just ignore them, at least until we get better weapons. We do, though, have some terrible news. Terrible, unthinkable news. Of the Kwama. I hope that's been obvious from what I've done for our little guys. They've saved us. I've tried to keep them safe and protected. The problem is they are dragging the game down from 700 TPS to, like, 200, 250 on a, on a good day. I mean, that's probably something to do with the fact that there are... <laughs> Over a hundred of them. I can't imagine that's helping things too much. I love you, Karma, but not enough to make every episode take me eight hours to record. Well, I've, I think I wrongly presume there'd be a limit on how many Karma could be active on the map at once, regardless of how many nests there are, but it turns out each amount of nests adds a cumulative amount of Karma to the map. Evidently, that's quite a lot. So I've, I've limited the nest amount back to three. Hopefully that'll, that'll work. I presume the nests that are already there will just disappear over time. That's a real shame. I mean, they were also providing infinite food and resources for us. Suppose colony defenders too, when you think about it. Let's go grab another one. Hey, you wanna go, you wanna go fight some mechanoids? Might not like it, but this is what the peak colony performance looks like. Just a pile of disgusting, filthy insect psychic suppressor, hello. Draconic horns. Ooh, a little bit of Eltex though. Pneumatic claw. Some sort of insectoid replacement. Psychic suppressor that reduced the consciousness of all females for 7.1 days. Oh. I think I'm okay. Not while we've got death bots on the lawn. We've got IEDs, though. That's nice. Going into rugs. Yes! That was the research we needed. That might be the perfect time to fight these centipedes, because one of them is a... is a burner. <laughs> one of them is a poplar tree. Crazy. I think, I think now's the time we go for it, right? Let's draft everybody up. Got to be more careful with Bugsy these days. Uh, do we have another one of the heavy spine launchers? Because that'd be a much better weapon. Yeah, there we go. I'm about to do what's called a big brain play. So if we do that... They can't see us, but we can see them. Enormous. Like, enormous intellectual. Uh, unless that centipede walks around the corner. Yee! Shit. That's a real problem. Um, okay. Well, that was good while it lasted. It was good while it lasted. Excellent in theory. Poor in practice. <laughs> yes. 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 Here we go. Big brain time again. Get them on the diagonal where they can't see us. Come on. Come on. It's going to take days to actually whittle this down enough to destroy the bloody thing. Oh, no. Luxembourg, piss off. Piss off. Piss off. Um, are you going to Are you, are you going to stop? They're coming for us. Okay. Get another shot off. Keep the mag road. 
Nice. Okay, run. Links, 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 links. Oh, the cooldown on that is not worth it. Oh, sweet links. I'm sorry. No, uh, run, 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 run. Don't shoot the centipedes. Don't shoot the murderous death bots. Bloody insectoid crossbows versus this is not ideal. Okay, hold on. Ah! Wow, this sucks. No, we're, we're never going to be able to deal with this. <laughs> rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat for the rest of your life. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Piss off, Zomblob. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Watch the fire. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Lynx. I'm sorry. Someone has to do this. What is that one doing? My let's second wooden bee house. That one is, that one is like all in. Oh, we annoyed them enough. I think we've pissed them off enough now. Get behind some cover. No, no, no. Draft up, draft up. Get behind some cover. Oh, poor Lynx. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I might have consigned you to death here, my friend. Oh, uh, uh, ultra instinct. Okay, not a problem. Are they going to start shooting the Kwama? I don't really want them to shoot all my Kwama. I haven't got many of them left, but it might be the... Oh my god, they're actually going to go for the Kwama. You know what? It's going to be the last big battle they do then, because we're not going to get that many to regenerate, because I've limited the amount of nests. Oh god. My friends. Here we go, the last great charge of the Kwama. Link. Oh, Martin's got an infection. We've got to help them. We can't let them go out like this. This is our fault. We started this war. Well, we didn't. I mean, the mechanoids attacked us first, to be fair. Get him, squad. Get them all. Kill those damn mechanoids. Don't shoot the Kwama, though. Bugsy's sad. Oh, she's so sad seeing what we've unleashed. I'm sorry, Bugsy. <laughs> my Kwama. Well, they're getting absolutely flattened, aren't they? Oh, my poor guys. Who could have thought trying to use paralysis and poison against the 10th speed might not work so well? Oh, shit. Let's get you positioned a little bit better here. Just, just do what you can. Just do what you can. Oh, they've done it. They've done it. They've done it. They've done it. No, stop, 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 stop. Many brave Kwama gave their life to save this colony. People keep trying to head over there to put out the... Okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. They wanted to put out the fire. Oh, look at how many died, though. Kwama workers, Kwama warriors, scribs by the dozen. I might have reduced their numbers down, but you know what? They went out like the champions that they are. Thank you, little Kwama. You may have saved this colony. Oh, now we've just got to deal with the whole cluster, which I'm not so confident about. Where's Martin? Is Martin safe? It is an arm infection, so we can just pull it off if things go bad. I'm going to crank up bed rest there, too. Hopefully, he'll be all right. What's the cleanliness of this beeswax? I was so focused on replacing the whole floor, I didn't even pay attention to whether or not it was a good idea. Um, a, a de Just standard. Standard floor cleanliness. Looks like has the best armor. She's also one of our best shots. So let's put her down just outside where the turrets can see us and see if we can... Set a chain reaction off, blow up the whole thing. And with their steel and their plastic and their components, we can take a look at electricity. Perfect. Those mechanoids uh, don't know what they've done for us. Okay, we, are we safe there? Hang on. Let's just hold. There you go. Perfect. Not a problem. Now we've just got to hope it explodes. Why then could you see us? Nothing changed. Oh, you see fucking idiot Buggo drink. Buggo drink, go home. And Moron's getting our best people shot out here. Come on, 84. Come on, spark. Please spark. Please explode. Rugs! I don't care about rugs. I'm in the middle of the intense battle. Nice. Good start. Ooh, Bugsy got another side level. Hey. Then we should be able to do the same from here as well. Just got to hit a couple of those slug turrets. I think that might just about blow up all of its friends too. Coward. Unbelievably cowardly. Well, on the plus side, now we can test out Bugsy's new uh, side cast. Because now I think the uh, Black Spellipede is the ranged one. All right, let's see if this works. Summon Black Spellipede. Then we'll hit it immediately with the Strengthen Insect. There you go. Nice. Did we strengthen it? Uh, yes, good. And then it's going to go in there. And oh, you're not behind cover anymore. Careful, careful, careful. You're hiding in the shadow where there was cover. Come on. Blow it all up, little Spellipede. I think this isn't the right one. I think it's the other one that spits acid in hindsight. Oh, no, it does have venomous spit. Uh, well, that's unfortunate. We're in its minimum range, though. Oh, look at it go. Oh, incredible. Thank you, little Spellipede. Oh, I just soloed it. Wow. Let me just get a little Bugsy to deal with it safely. Ah, oh, amazing. It's got a shield core. Not that I think we're probably going to do anything with that. And then we got a bunch of steel to help kickstart some of our own electricity. Thank you. What I might do now, then... It'll inflate the colony wealth. If there are any more ship chunks kicking around, we want to take those apart. And then if there are any more compacted machinery, let's go grab those as well. Silver. To be fair, we do need that for Bugsy's meditation, bizarrely. And we've got plastil. And we've got uranium. 
We've just been we've just been building this, this absolute treasure trove the entire game. What exactly do we have? Wood fire generators and then a wind turbine. Ooh. Um. Shit. <laughs> well, let's just hope these bees are careful flyers. Uh, feels like only yesterday we were a little Neolithic colony in a mountain struggling to survive, and now we're a mostly Neolithic colony in a mountain struggling to survive. But now we have <laughs> we have lights. We had a little bug solar panel. I don't know which bugs would prefer, wind power or solar power. I'm gonna have to go and ask a bee. How am I supposed to make judgment calls? Like what sort of power would would insects use if they were humanoid? Ooh. What do you mean new technology level? How can we be a new technology level? Bee hybridizing is amazing. Now we get new types of bees. What the hell do you mean by that? Uh, congratulations, a researcher just finished a research project that made your tribe smarter. The new tech level is industrial. Oh, good. So now we're considered industrial because we've done a little bit of industrial, I suppose. Sure. Sure. I've looked it up, and there is an enormous amount of scientific articles suggesting that solar farms are good for bees. So you know what? French bender with wind turbines. Oh, crap, anyway. I'm not going to lose any sleep over that. Where am I going to put these? Uh, I mean, we can make a big old solar field over in this direction, I guess. Put a, put a wall in front of it or something like that. Oh my god, lamps. I love lamp. We've got to replace all the torches with 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 advanced lamps. I don't have a choice. And then after lamps, we have compound bows. Not really the weapon upgrade I was looking for, but that's okay. Get rid of all these torches. French appendage. Sorry, I have no choice. I love lamp. Oh, look at the lamps too. Oh, they're scary lamp. Perhaps I don't want salvation for green. Six man hunting badgers. <laughs> You're on your own. Nobody could possibly survive that. Excellent, we can now silently fire arrows with greater efficiency. Those centipedes stand no chance. Microelectronics, though, hold on. Wow, bloody hell, that... I mean, that's some upwards acceleration, huh? One day ago, we were working by torchlight. Now we're just going to invent multi-analyzers. That seems fine. What is this? I've never heard of this one before. A sanguophage named Oleg is looking for a safe place to meet with three other sanguophages where they won't be tracked. They want us to host them... They will have a little meeting, and then they will disappear. Then they are either going to give us a Xenogerm implantation to turn us into a Sanguophage, which will conflict with our... It is a Xenogene, isn't it? I'm not going nuts. I, I, I don't think we can do it anyway. Uh, Luciferium, uh, Yellow Skin, Gene Pack, and then Advanced Component, or Silent Neuroformer? I mean, why not? We've just got to... They, they won't do anything else. They're just going to turn up, have a meeting, and then give us a silent neuroformer. Why the hell would I say no? We could grab them and turn them into insects. Ooh, we could grab them and turn them into insects. <laughs> They're here. They're here. Where are they? Oleg and Pex. Hold on a second. Do we want to capture them? Capture them, take their legs? That might not be a bad idea. You, when you when you take someone's xenogenes with a gene extractor, you you take either their germline or xenogenes, right? So we could just lock these guys up, all four of them, take their legs away, and then when we finally got the research, we can we can steal their say strong melee damage to give to our warriors, the aggressive to give to our warriors, the super fast wound healing to give to the warriors, psi sensitive to give to Bugsy herself, tox immunity. Oh, you are very valuable, aren't you? And I presume we'd be able to extract the uh, uh, the archives energy as long as we've got the capsules, we could reapply that. Oh. Oh, come in! Come in, insectoid people. Uh, uh, sanguophages, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself there. Welcome, welcome, come in, come in. We'll, we'll, just, we'll just keep you safe, make sure no harm befalls you in your meeting. <laughs> oh... Oh, this is a long-term investment. They have begun their meeting, have they now? Arrest these men. 63. 60. Oh, God. 84. Good enough. What about you? 61. 60. Ooh. 60. Okay, you know what? Let's just go for it. 63. Someone else said, like, 60. 64, right? Uh, you're, you're reserved. Wait, what? Are you, who are you arresting? Okay. Just get him. Just get... Oh, my God. None of them were arrested. One, wait, we got one of them. Oh, don't kill them. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. Melee, melee, melee. Nice. There's another one. There's another one. Nice, 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 nice. Capture. Capture. Get them carried away. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There's another one here somewhere, right? There were four. 
One, two, three. Oh, we killed one. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh, this does put a smile on my face. The only problem I can foresee with this is we are not going to have enough blood to give to them, are we? That's three sanguifages, and we've only got one person capable of giving them blood, and ideally, I want to recruit you as soon as possible. Um, this is fine. Uh, they'll be okay. Well, we can capture some more people. Give me your legs. You have a, a, a great future for the hive. Give me these. Uh, what happened to your legs? A stab scar. They're damaged. We can't remove them while they're damaged. Uh, the quickest way to do it, then, let's just give them peg legs, and then we take the peg legs off. Rimworld makes perfect sense and micro electronics as well as me saying oh it's gonna be a long time before we get to all the gene stuff but I mean shit at the rate they're going maybe not so much oh I love lamp hundreds of years of innovation to take us from Neolithic to industrial all in the pursuit of lamp and we got advanced lamps too so we can make these lamps any color we feel like uh how about uh, what, what, what color are we gonna make the lamps Oh, you, there's actually a color temperature bar. Oh, that's nice. What about a slight off green color? Ooh, yeah, okay, that feels a bit more hive. I like that. These sanguifages were kidnapped by a bunch of, of, of replicating insectoid people and now get to watch as the lamps randomly change color. <laughs> Those poor guys must be so confused. So horribly confused. Oh, I don't know, that's kind of horrible. Oh, we'll live with it. Progress has been incredible today. We've not only set up amazingly for future insectoid crossbreeding programs by having three sanguifage ready to rip the genes out of, but there is something medieval that still haunts this colony. Something that's been kicking around since we were just Neolithic little cave insects all those years ago. Something that's been an absolute frigging thorn in my side. Or should I say thorn in my sidonia? 18% <laughs> chance. Do it right now. Do it right now. Oh my god. You've actually done it. I never I never thought I'd see the day. I was completely unprepared. I was about to go on this massive rampage about how from now on I'm just going to consign Sidonia to being a vampiric blood bag. And then you've actually gone and converted them. Oh. Oh, well. This was very unexpected. Uh, welcome to the colony, I suppose. Crap, now I'm going to have to find another blood bag. <laughs> oh, but now we can start on the whole warrior program. Tell me the truth. Was it the lamp? Do you also love lamp? You do. You do love lamp. That took years. Years and years, but we finally have a mighty warrior for our insectoid hive. Take off your mask. Drop your imperial gear. Uh, I didn't say put on the Mega Spider helmet, but I guess so. I guess that's fine. Put on that plate armor too if you really want to, given that you're going to be our, our fighter. I never thought this day would come. We need to get you a melee weapon. We need to... No! We don't need to get you a melee weapon at all. Don't listen to my lies. In here, if I'm not mistaken, was that... Uh, where are you? Melee damage per second, 38.46 with the red mutagen. This, I'll, this is the cutting weapon. We could go one cutting, one blunt. Don't they have kind of similar DPS? Uh, orange mutagen mar maroon. There we are. Uh, they do, in fact, have similar DPS. That's got 78% armor penetration. Sorry, 75% armor penetration for a melee weapon. So one does blunt, one does sharp. Um, but they do the same damage. So why the hell not just go double maroon? For the most part, things have a higher sharp armor than a blunt armor anyway. Just look at like a flak vest, for example. 115 sharp versus 41% blunt. I mean, with that much armor penetration anyway, to be fair, it's kind of irrelevant, but we might as well max it out. Two maroon mutagens. We're going to turn you into a great big praying mantis, I suppose. It did specifically say it gives them a, a boxing-like stance. Wow. Yeah, there it is. And then you've also got a shield belt as well. Actually, this is this is perfect. Hang on, that hammer is bio-coded to you, is it not? Oh! <gasps> My god. <laughs> Send those mechanoids back. Oh, I have a gift for them. The only problem is right now the hive goes very dark at nighttime because we're running our lights off of solar panels. I mean, it's it's fairly obvious to see there's a bit of a problem there. Oh, you what, you failed to chop off their leg. Well, that's not a big deal. I mean, I'll forgive you. Oh, was it you doing it? No, you're not allowed to do that. 
Come on. All right, sorry, I got too carried away looking at your melee stats. What else are you good at? Tough and iron will and dunce. I mean, you're incredible. Plants and medical. Shit, I mean, we will keep you on medical then. Maybe just not the surgery aspect of things. Sure, there you go. You can you can manage the plants. We've got plenty to do. So with the brand new tech level and all of our old prisoners recruited, a prison stashed with people ready to get some genes ripped out of them, I think we say goodbye to all of our old stuff now, right? Get rid of the bows and armor. We focus on making some more bug-themed weaponry. Hopefully some proper bug firearms. Maybe now we start dividing bug people up into different tiers, different classes, so that we can, we can turn this into a proper hive. At some stage... Maybe Bugsy could get a nicer crown, too. New tech level, electricity and microelectronics back to back to back was, uh... I was pretty good. I'm happy with that one. At this rate, it won't be long before we're actually getting to all the biogenic stuff. And that's really where... That's really where I think Bugsy can come into her own. Get a little bit of vengeance, just as she was tempted to an insect. We'll start capturing... I mean, the real goal, right, will be to capture the Stellark and turn them into a bug. That might have to be it. That, that might be the new goal going forwards. Thank you for joining me once again in the Hive. As always, if you have any mod suggestions or any suggestions for ideas and, and theming for the, for the colony going forwards, let me know in the comments and I will, I will steal those and I'll pass them off as my own idea. Thank you to Lapis Golem, Nancy Dro, Talia, Acolyte of Arcadius, Micah, Cosmosenti, Wayne Higgins, John Carousella, Azurami, A Viking, I Doge, Scuba, Orkanza, Sweetsy, El Chalupa Capra, Master Mary, Malice, Utarrant95, Samuel Burton, Voodoo Mumbo, Igtenio, Grant the Hero, Necrofillin, Sean Howard, Angry Welder, Number One Circles, Jacob Ford, and biblically accurate toothpicks for their support the executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you for being here. Thank you for making the channel possible during all of this weird stuff that's going on, but hopefully the weird stuff won't be going on much longer. Not that I'm, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic, I think is the right word. Thank you as well to Pylos, Carl Schreyer, R Jack, Ryan, Puka Boy, Natalie Tyson, Tsubasa, Janosch, Peepo, Tree, Extrash, Frey Buter, Conksmore, Max Boy, Gavin Powell, Andrew Sobrio, Yannick, Sam the Central Sapphist, Europala84, Daniel Gleason, Derek Robbins, Azarius, Rabbit Dead, Amos, Duthi, Nox Immortalis, Tigra, Offensively Canadian, Layforce, Low, or maybe Luff, and Flex Bowls. See you all tomorrow.